Uh, hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, this video is about uh, day trading. Uh, this is uh, video number six about uh, this series of video about uh, day trading and the title of this video is uh, volume day trading. The trading volume day trading. Uh, here I have here uh, the indicator, the volume, all right? and then we're going to discuss uh, a specific uh, day trading strategy on the 30 minutes charts, 30. I did not say hourly chart, I did not say two hour chart, I did not say four hour chart, I said 30 minutes chart because we are a day a trader. We are watching, uh, okay, the trading activity, but we very often trade again to trouble when they are uh, looking at uh, the volume indicator. Uh, when they see red, they say this, uh, this is a bearish. When they see the green, they say this is a uh, uh, bullish that's completely wrong all right when you see the volume like this so that is the i'm talking about this candle here you see uh, look on your right hand side you can see 3.5 million a share of this uh, intel stock has been traded at that point in time in that 30 minute here this candle here this uh, uh, volume trading volume here 3.5 million can you see it uh, yeah can you see it here on this side, can you see 3.5 million? When I place, when I place uh, my vertical, is 3.5, okay? Yeah, it's now 3.5 million share has been traded at that point in time. If I put uh, a vertical line down, okay? Pay attention, because a lot of traders get into trouble when they are using the trading volume. When I start trading first, I spend most of my time on YouTube, and I see traders uh, are using uh, the volume indicator. And uh, I never see anybody truly, truly explain to me uh, how to use the volume indicator. Uh, my first challenge was to understand uh, the volume indicator because uh, anytime I see red like this, red bars like this, I think it's bearish. And when I see the green bar, I see it's bullish. But that's not the, the, the case. The, the, when you see any volume bar like this, it includes selling and buying. All right. So if they sold 100 share and uh, they buy a 50 share, the total volume is uh, 150. All right. So this is what we got here. The volume is all trading activity, either bullish or bearish. So if they sold uh, a 1 million share, all right, uh, they, and they bought a 2.5 million share, that's a 3.5. So 1 million for selling. 2.5 for bullish, total 3.5. The volume, the volume bar will be at 3.5. This is uh, okay. What you need to understand. So next time you are looking at the volume indicator, do not get confused. The volume is all trading activity, either bullish or bearish. But the strategy that we're going to discuss here, all right. Do not take it like a, a trading robot. Test it first, all right. Do not discount it. Don't go around dumping one system. And <laughs> as I was doing before, and look for another system and forget about everything else. Don't get emotional, all right? <laughs> That's not the best way to do it because there are different stages that trader goes through. All right, I understand that, okay? A losing trade do happen, but you don't want to get emotionally involved, okay? So what we are looking for, we are the 30-minute chart. We are looking at Intel. We are looking for, okay, a surge, S U R G E, all right, Sierra Uniform Romeo Golf Eco surge in trading volume, which means unusual trading volume above average trading volume. So, you see here the average trading volume. If you see my uh, this is uh, the moving average 50 that I put on my chart here for the volume, I'm using TC 2000. This is the moving average 20 of the volume bar. So above average, okay, so you see here, the average volume was around that level. Suddenly here, you see this one? It's above average. It's taller, this candle here, this bar, volume bar here, is taller than everything else that we have seen before. This is a surge, an increase in trading volume. As a day trader, we want to trade financial instruments that are very liquid, that professional trading, that you can sell and buy anytime without any problem, without any delay, because you want to get in, okay, be rewarded, and come out also 
that very fluent, okay, that you can trade easily. So, though I'm discussing this strategy, <laughs> I know that some traded trade financial instruments that remain in place, they hold it. So, maybe you are in another country, you trade, that's the only thing that you trade. But the financial instrument, if you are trading financial instrument that does, is not very liquid, and uh, you stay in one place the whole day, you may turn around and say to me, George, this is one of the useless trading strategies that I ever come across. So remember, the financial instrument that you must apply this strategy for must be very liquid. A lot of traders must trade it. It should be easy to sell and buy. Sometimes there are some stocks that only one or three people are trading, or major or one or two uh, <laughs> shareholders are trading, and we see volatility. Price gap up here, price gap up down, and it's just volatility up and down. Don't trade them. Don't trade them, all right? Trade blue chips, trade uh, for ice, all right? Tra but uh, when we are talking about volume, we are talking about the stocks. Because uh, for the for ice market, we don't have the volume indicator. What I have said to traders that are trading for ice, if you don't, because we don't have uh, the volume bar for the currency pair, the MACD indicator can help us know what is taking place. But I will not go deeply into that today. That will be another subject using MACD as a, a volume indicator, okay, for the forest market. But traders that are trading stocks, all right, blue chips, the strategy is valid on a 30 minute chart. As you can see here, we see a surge in trading volume. Okay, what you will do, you see like this on a 30 minute chart, you put a vertical line on this like this, okay? Do it like myself. That's it. The next thing that you're going to do, let me show you. So you are saying that there is an increase in trading volume. So either the dominant force is bullish or bearish, but you don't know yet. All you know, you know that there is an increase in trading volume or uh, above average trading volume. Okay? It's interesting. Now, you don't know whether it's the bear that are dominant or the bulls. So that's where we come in now. The next step is to highlight the high of that candle on a 30 minute chart. The high, that candle should close first. Very important. So it's not because you, see, so when you are trading, so you are day trading on a live chart, you see a tall candle like this on a 30 minute chart. Don't do anything. Wait until that 30 minute candle is closed on a dot. Close, close, close. And the second candle here has started. That's where you will start. This is very important. So you draw the vertical line, okay, <laughs> all right? You draw the high of that candle, okay, okay? And then you also draw the low of that candle. Why? Because if you want to buy, because there's a surge in trading volume, the price is going to go up or go down. But you want to get it right. So if you want to buy, you are looking for bullish patterns above the high or the price at least. If you switch to the five minute chart or three minute chart, the price might start going into a rising channel, which means we are not violating the market patterns and we are not trying to force the strategy. And also, if the strategy has failed, we will know. All right? So, if it goes above the high of that candle and it was in a rising channel, for instance, on the three minute chart, and suddenly it came out of that bullish channel, you don't want to be bullish, yes or no? Okay? So you will look for opportunity to buy or you will give priority to bullish signal above the high of that candle and you will give priority to bearish signal below that, uh, the low of uh, that uh, candle. So here with E, we highlight it, the high, the low, and also we draw a vertical line. As you can see, the second candle open here where my cursor is, we will switch time frame to a lower time frame. We are zooming to it, looking for the market pattern. At that point in time, <laughs> on the two minute, three minute chart, if you are scalpeler, you may go even to one minute chart. You will see that during that time you will be in a rising channel, probably on a one minute chart, and you will try to take it there. But it didn't go far. All right, you see here that they didn't go far. I want you to pay attention to another one here. This is again a, a surge in trading volume right here. You see here above average. Here suddenly we see it taller than everybody else. Vertical line. Because you can see that this is a doji, all you do, just pay attention to the high, okay, and the low of the doji, okay? If it goes above the high, we give priority to bullish signal. If it goes below the low, we give priority to bullish, bearish signal. 
because surge in trading activity means that traders are placing more trades. They are buying either they are buying too much or they are selling too much. But we don't want to guess it. We don't want to force it. We want to follow the price, and the price will not fool us. That's why we need to hide at the high and the low of that candle. The candle must close first, and after that you can see the second candle is bullish. We switch to a lower time frame, two minutes, three minutes, one minute, five minutes, depending on what you want to do, and then you'll take it from there, and here it is, it's going up. Here again, I want you to pay attention to this one on a 30 minute chart. Pay attention, not this one came first, before this one. So this is where we will pay attention to it. Again, we hide at the high, the low, and we watch it. In fact, the next day, the price got up, which means this uh, surge in trading volume, these are bull. But now, another third candle came in. So here was bull that we're buying. The second candle came in, we'll draw the high, the low of this candle. So if I do it now, are you with me? Step by step, this is how you day trade using the trading volume, all right? That's what we call this video, all right? Okay, volume day trading, all right? There are more to this, but we want to day trade, and we are trading day trading on a 30 minute chart using the volume bar. So we have the high and the low. So here we are, it went horizontal, it didn't go above the high, it just went horizontal, a messy one, you see? This is where a lot of trade again to trouble. Price does not always go up or go down. Sometimes it just go horizontal. Remember that. So sometimes traders say, why the price didn't go up? I receive a bullish signal, but the price did not go up. Sometimes the price does not go up, does not go down. All right? Or you receive a sell signal, but the price did not go up, didn't go down. It went horizontal. It happens. Okay? This is a market pattern. Rising channel, declining channel, but also horizontal channel. Okay? So we have it like this. Now you see it went horizontal, but because this is the tallest candle and the latest one, no other candle is taller than this. Now it's going now it did below it now. Below the low. Well, this is Intel stock. We go to the lower time frame if the market open next time. And we look for opportunity and draw our trend line on the lower time frame. If I go now uh, to the two minute chart, okay. What's the price doing there on the two minute chart? Okay, let's zoom into it. This is how you want to trade. So from the 30 minute chart, we are using the 30 minutes hour setup using the volume indicator, and then we switch to the lower time frame. Okay, here I'm on a two minute chart because I'm a okay crazy scalper. And here we are. Okay. Alright. If the price is pretty high or low before retesting the top, don't force it. On a two minute chart, we can apply the same strategy again. You see tall. But always, as I said to you. The strategy is 30 minute chart, surge in trading volume, and we do, we draw the vertical line, high at the high and the low, and we use a multiple time trading, trading method or the TSTW24. There are more to this, but uh, with this, I think you understand what is the trading volume. It's uh, all trading activity, including the buyers and the sellers. If you see the red volume bar, it's no sell. If you see the green volume bar, it's no uh, buys, uh, bias only, all right? It's all trading activity. I don't think I need to mention to traders before I close uh, this video about uh, volume uh, uh, trading indicator, a uh, trading uh, strategy, all right? I want to remove all my lines and I want to say something to you uh, again. Uh, hold on, please. I want to say something very important and uh, promise me that uh, you will not uh, forget that. I'm going to go back again and put my vertical line there so you can remember all the trading volume that we were looking at. This one, we were looking at this one, all right? And uh, we were looking at uh, uh, this one also, right here. You see this volume bar? And also we were looking at uh, uh, this, uh, no, that's not where I want to do it. Let me remove that. And, uh, and we were also looking at this one here. Uh, is it this one? One second. Is this one? This one here. All right. You have to notice also that uh, this is a surge in trading volume. This this is one thing I want you to remember. Okay, this surge in trading volume on the thirty minutes chart are taking place very often when the market is about to close. 
You will promise me that you will not forget that. And the market calls as the market, they, 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 which means that this is uh, uh, three thirty p.m. Eastern time because this is American stock. Okay. The candle before the last candle on the thirty minute chart. Okay. So you can see here, the market is about to close, and we see a surge in trading volume on the thirty minute chart. The market is about to close. You see here, and we see a surge in trading volume. Here again, the market is about to close, and we see a surge in trading volume. Here we see again, the market is about to close, and we see a surge in trading volume. Why? Very often, the brokers will buy or sell at the end of the closing market. <laughs> okay. At the end of the market, okay, market is about to close. There are a lot of activity to buy because uh, clients told their brokers, "I want you to buy Intel for me at X price," and the brokers will try to get it for them at a cheaper price, at a better price. Very often, during the first hours, the first thirty minutes, when the market is open, the stock market is open, brokers will be buying and selling for their clients because clients are phoning in and say. Buy for me one million share of Intel. Sell that stock for me. All right. Close my position. Blah blah blah. So the first thirty minutes, when the market is open, and the the, the last thirty minutes before the market is closed, there are brokers making the decision. That's why we see those a surge in trading activity. Okay. As the market is about to close right here, you see, each time on a thirty minute chart, and then we will apply uh, this uh, strategy. The next day, we are ready for it, and we want to day trade. As you can see again, this is a Friday, this Friday that is closed. You see the last candle again on the 4 hour chart. What do you see? A surge. You see, it, suddenly the volume was low. Now we have again a surge in the last 30 minutes when the market is about to close. Game on. So put it here. So are you going to say it's bearish because it's red? No, no more because now you understand it. You also highlight the high. Okay. And you also highlight the low oh, for that candle. It's not easy because it's just a tiny candle, all right? But just be aware of it. Just draw some line like this, okay? And then the switch to the lower time frame and monitor it. Or you can just go TC2000. The low of that candle is 24.75. The high is 24.85. It's only 10 pips. It's a very tiny candle. So you can just draw the low and watch it, okay? Or just know those level down, the high 24.85, the low 24.75, and just note it down on a piece of paper, and watch it, all right? And then switch time frame from the 30 minute chart, zoom into it on the lower time frame. This is about the volume a day trading. It makes sense? It's also powerful. There are more we can say about the trading volume, but in fact, uh, I'm going to, okay, write uh, an ebook about uh, uh, the volume trading because I've seen a lot of uh, things about volume and I read a lot of things about volume but uh, not much uh, have said to help truly traders to day trade or to swing trade properly and uh, to use the volume indicator like professional all right so this is what we are doing here sharing with you if you like this video all right share it on Google Plus share it on Facebook share it on Stumble Upon share it on Dig let everybody knows why because the more traders know about this the better the market will become efficient all right so no one will be doing crazy thing messing up your trade all right that's why we are keep we are recording videos every day every night teaching traders at stochastimad.com dayprotrader.com to for Elliot wave on youtube on facebook on twitter we are busy teaching traders okay sharing our okay tech, our strategy with traders all right but if we are talking about confidential trading material like tstw24 as well as your eight do not share them with your friend even if your mother asks you don't share it why you know why when a trader purchase a trading system they take it serious if they get it for free they don't take it serious there are hundreds of video, uh, free trading system on the web but still traders are losing. But when a trader purchases a system and he or she learn to use it, all right, they are more disciplined and they use it properly. Do not give it to your friend. If your friend asks you, you are TSTW24, SYZ, you're a trader. I don't worry too much about those things though. 
and uh, your friend asks you, oh, well, say to him, go and buy it. Just tell him, go and buy it, okay? And the trader will buy it, and he will take it more serious. If you give it to him for free, I mean, I can share, uh, like I'm doing now, I'm sharing some of my uh, uh, strategy with trader. I've shared many on YouTube, on Facebook. Uh, in fact, I shared too many of uh, my uh, training strategy with trainers. So, so far, but still trainers are going round and round. Why? Because it's one thing to know it and another thing to understand it. But to know, to understand, and master, it takes time and process. Practice, practice, and that's what will make you a better trader, okay? So, I hope you have learned something from, uh, okay, this video also, and I will put it to use and to make excellent uh, day trading decision. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the GSTW, 24 uh, traders. Speak to you soon.